Hi everybody, I hope uh, everybody are safe and sound and today I'd like to discuss uh, a little bit uh, uh, introduction on the basics of molecular docking. So before going into the molecular docking, I'd like to address how actually uh, a disease uh, or a damage in the human body is actually treated or why it is caused. Let's say, uh, uh, you know, uh, every tissue we have a kind of functioning, every cell we have a patterned functioning. So when that functioning is disturbed or because uh, when when the cells in the human body uh, do not work uh, in, according to their pattern of work or if there is a protein that has been damaged inside an organ. So that is how uh, actually the uh, there is a disease that uh, you know human body is affected with if there is a malfunction in any of the protein protein sheath is disturbed sometimes there is a change in the dna rna so all these can uh, combinedly give rise to uh, a disease is what we call uh, so a change in the functioning of human body so at that time what we try to do is we try to repair whatever the changes that body uh, that uh, the tissue or the the target uh, has gone through so we try to reverse or we try to patch it up so that it will act normally so that is what we are trying to do whenever we are trying to give a drug for any infection or a disease or in the human body so the molecular docking is actually a virtual representation of the interaction between these two so when you have a target target is nothing but the protein uh, which actually which causes uh, a disease or which uh, uh, you know because uh, because of the there is, because of the damage that happens to the protein uh, there is a lot of damage that happens to the tissue or the organ or the cells and so on and because of this uh, we say we have an infection or we have a disease so when you are fighting that disease we uh, actually send out ligands in the form of drugs so it 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 may be taken in any way some are uh, you know through veins some are through mouth that is orally so in many different ways we take uh, drugs so uh, molecular docking is nothing but the virtual representation or virtual visualization of interaction between these two so uh, going into details uh, docking is one of the best methods to find the interaction between these two if we have a hope that uh, there is a better interaction between the two molecules that we uh, are actually trying to fit back in place so we can actually proceed further in actually designing a drug according to that. So docking plays a major role in that place. So here you can see that uh, there is uh, this green part is what we call target and uh, this uh, piece we call this as ligand. So here you can see after the docking there is an interaction between the target and ligand. And uh, the best part of molecular docking is because molecular docking can give you an optimized confirmation that is if uh, your target is like this and your ligand is this this ligand is sitting on this target like this uh, in one position but docking can give you number of positions uh, in which the interaction can happen and the one more step it can go ahead and uh, the docking can actually tell you which position is best at interaction so this is the main uh, ad, uh, main advantage of molecular docking it actually tells you which confirmation or which mode of interaction is best uh, coming to the types of dockings there are uh, three types of protein ligand protein protein and protein nucleotide Drog this is a docking workflow actually how uh, we connect to docking step by step target is selected and ligand is selected target is something that's inside your body and ligand is that something that you want to send into your body and repair whatever uh, has been damaged inside it so target after uh, it's not only enough that you select a target so whenever we select the target that is a protein we actually prepare it uh, for docking so where do we prepare this for docking we actually do it in the software that Mm, uh, softwares which support docking so uh, generally autodoc vena is uh, very easy to use and uh, very effective also and uh, very easy to handle so 
whenever you select a target may it be a protein so that protein is actually prepared why preparation of the target is required is because if the target is not prepared uh, you know to have a perfect active sites or uh, if if it does not have the environment of accepting a ligand then there is no point of conducting docking so that is why we prepare the target in such way that it has enough active sites that is it's enoughly active to accept a ligand so ligand is also selected in the same way and it is also prepared because uh, the interaction between the target and ligand can be of different ways so that it can be ionic sometimes there can be hydrogen bonds they, there are uh, different kinds of uh, interactions so when this interactions to have uh, for this interaction to happen the ligand should be having the uh, res uh, respective properties so we develop those rep respective properties in preparation so both ligand and target are prepared and now we carry on the docking and we evaluate the result that we have obtained from docking so target and ligand selection it's uh, really easy because we have lot of databases available on the internet so target proteins can be downloaded in the form of uh, uh, in, in a pdb format uh, whereas ligands can be found in zinc pubchem or uh, it can also be sketched uh, with chem sketch ligands can also be uh, found in uh, pdb formats or they are sometimes found in sdf formats which you can easily convert to pdb format using uh, Auto autodoc wiener tools autodoc wiener is a software that we use to carry on docking so software used for docking there are many more but i i have given three which are effective and uh, all of among all these autodoc wiener is uh, effectively and uh, frequently yeah. used and it's also easy to handle so coming to the uh, docking result so here is how you get a table after docking uh, when the docking is complete you obtain a table which is exactly like this so you have different uh, uh, columns which says mode affinity and distance from the best mode mode uh, mode is nothing but the number of confirmations or the mode is actually classified or can be said as a confirmation or the position of ligand on the target so ligand can be placed in different positions and in different modes on the target so mode gives the number of ways in which the ligand can actually interact with the target and affinity is nothing but uh, we also call it as a docking score so it it's basically the binding energies of different confirmations so uh, the mode 1 has a confirmation or affinity of uh, 5.8 kilocalorie per mole binding energy and whose docking score is said to be minus 5.8 why negative sign is taken is because when there is a bond formation between two molecules we see that uh, energy is released and that's why we take it as a negative form negative uh, sign so this docking score actually helps us in saying the uh, act, uh, helps us in judging the interaction so uh, in the third column we have distance from best mode so the best mode here is where uh, uh, the lower boundary and upper boundary of root mean square deviation is zero that is uh, ligand and uh, pro target are interacted very closely so this is the best docking score we see so lower the docking score higher is the interaction or we can say in other words higher the binding energy higher is the interaction so i have actually given here the example of uh, one of the components of sandalwood oil with bax protein of breast cancer and uh, this is a visual representation of you know uh, this is actually after docking so you can see that the target is here and the ligand is sitting here so this is the best confirmation that i have taken that is with docking score minus 5.8 so like this you can obtain nine other uh, uh, this is one and eight other uh, pictures like this and out of them of course with the docking score with the least docking score will have higher interaction how can these docking score helps uh, docking scores help us further with the help of these docking scores there is a chance that we can actually compare the docking scores that we got here to the docking scores of the drugs that are already in use and see if this uh, component can be actually put into a uh, uh, trial or put into experiment and uh, see if it can serve as a drug so this is like the starting step 
to see or uh, to to bring a new drug into uh, the market and also after selecting the best uh, uh, docking score and the best interaction there uh, if further we can also model the ligand that is by changing its uh, functional groups or by changing its orientations and uh, we can say that uh, this uh, can further be modeled and uh, you know there there is a chance there is a probability that we can actually uh, make it into a feasible drug that can be marketed and that can be used in clinics now uh, clinics to treat uh, diseases to treat patients so that is how uh, docking can help us and i hope uh, this will help at least a few and i hope you understood the essence of molecular docking and uh, thank you